Hi guys, it's Ricky. And this is Ricky Reveals. <laughs> so, um, got me a vinyl tripod the other day, and, uh, well, I guess you get what you pay for, right? Um, BMW, just saying. <clears throat> the power of prayer, power manifestation. Somebody evaded arrest this weekend. Well, last weekend, sorry, I know it's Wednesday, but um, somebody evaded arrest. They think they're good. They're not a good. They are on a nationwide manhunt for their crimes. Larceny. I do believe um, attempted murder. Grand Theft Auto. Uh, and falsifying police reports. This person is going to try to evade the country um, instead of like fa stand, uh, going um, and being held accountable for their crimes. It's not going to work. The um, Authorities already have them like, um, oh, what do you call that? Where like somebody is like on the watch list for like terrorism or whatever. I don't think it's quite, uh, if it's like the terrorist um, watch list or not, but it's something like that where they are monitoring like them, this person for travel wherever, I mean, whether it's inter uh, interstate travel or international travel. <clears throat> and when this person goes to to get on a flight out of the country, they are going to be apprehended then. And even if this person tries to get like to Mexico and then get on a flight, they're not going to get through the border, the Mexican border. Whatever they've done, they did it either, it's either like really horrendous or they did it to someone high profile. <clears throat> someone is going to be uh, recognized as a hero here really soon. <clears throat> and they don't even know it. They have no clue. What they've done is going to be Put, thrust them in the spotlight and get them known as a hero. They don't even consider it heroic. They just thought it was, you know, something any human being would do. And they're going to find out that, no, most people would be too greedy, too selfish, or too scared to do what you did. You are a hero. And um, this person will actually, it'll actually change your perspective of people in the world. Because they honestly think they're kind of like, they kind of, they have childlike innocence where they think everyone it has a good heart and like everyone would do like they go above and beyond to like help another person. And this, whatever they've done, it's going to show people the true nature of humanity to this person. And he's going to, well, I guess I said he, so I guess it's a he. <laughs> it could be a he. I mean, it could be a girl too, but I'm really getting masculine now. Um, it's going to show him that not everyone is a good person. And there's actually a lot more bad people in this world than, um, he ever thought before, could even imagine before uh, it's going to change his perception and the way he moves and acts from now on uh, we have some of the pinnacles so <clears throat> something you've been working on is coming to fruition like as we as you speak or as I speak <laughs> um, your prayers are coming to, uh, into the physical realm being answered your manifestations are coming <clears throat> there is something you manifested and something you prayed for 
that is already here <clears throat> and it's going to require some tending to <clears throat> like there's still some gardening you know like there's still some tending to it you can't quite pick it yet like you can't go out there and get that that pinnacle off that bush yet yeah, there's something you know you got there's still a little bit to do <clears throat> but it is it has ripe it has grown it has come to it's ripened and it's ready it's almost ready for harvest and it will be a good harvest you just have like a couple more things that need to be attended to or changed for whatever this is that you've manifested <clears throat> like i said it's already in your life and it's already coming together as it's supposed to come together um there's just a couple more things and you will you'll be very happy really soon I, mean, I think you're already happy because of the fact that this has come back or your prayers and your manifestations have come. It could be involving a King of Swords, um, uh, an intellectual man. It may not be very romantic, may not show his feelings um, all that much, but he's a take charge leader. He is direct. He, he, um, if, even if, though he doesn't like, show a lot of romantic gestures this person does really love you uh oh wow you also have a king of pentacles in the reverse so you have a greedy man a materialistic man uh and it could be two suitors that are going to be fighting for your attention um one is upright and in the and it's just the other is uh, in the reverse and greedy and materialistic um usually the king of pentacles is like the guy you want to be with if out of the two guys in the deck, it's the King of Pentacles and the Emperor that are the two best options. But with this guy being in the reverse, he um, probably uh, isn't a very good partner um, in relationships. Either he's abusive of some sort, control freak, um, or he's a cheater. And when it comes to business and money, he definitely... Um, He's not, he's not depend, dependable. He's not trustworthy. He'll cut corners and cut um, costs where wherever, not, and he don't care about um, whoever gets cut in, in the process. It's only about him and his money. Three of Wands. Commitment, engagement, celebration, money, effect, efforts, rare fruit, others help. So you prayed for something or you manifested something like a project or a new job or a new business and you're going to have help. Like people who may have come into your life originally as friends or lovers or um, whatnot, they are now going to become business partners and you guys are going to take on a creative endeavor that will be very fruitful for all of you. It may just be one or two people or maybe a whole group of people, but the card is the three of wands. So it's making me think three people. The Wheel of Fortune. What did I just say? You guys are going to be doing something together really soon that is going to be very fruitful. It will probably be your main source of income for the rest of your life. And it probably will make enough income to where your kids and your grandkids will be spending the money long after you're gone. Uh, enjoy an improvement in your relationships. Watch in motion brings success. What is in motion brings success. So whatever you've got going on, your manifest manifest manifestations and your prayers are being answered and they are coming into your physical realm. You're going to, start, you probably already have started to see them and you're going to continue to start seeing them just pop up like randomly. Like you'll be walking down the street one day and somebody's going to come, Hey, um, God told me to give you a hundred dollars or, um, you're going to go past a car lot and the car you've always wanted is going to be in that car lot and you're going to stop in and ask about it. And you might even like get the dealer to come down like a couple grand in order to fit your price range to where you can walk off the lot with it that day. Ten of Wands. All right, so someone is releasing burdens, like, of the past in order to start new with, um, like, a, re a reconciliation or a reconnect of an old relationship. Or maybe they've been closed off to love and they don't want, they really have just closed their heart chakra. Now they're, like, lowering, like, laying down those burdens and they're going to start opening up because they're wanting love again. Um have taken on too much feeling 
feelings of burnout. So you and also you might have taken on too many creative projects or too many jobs. So say you have like two jobs and you really just cannot do the 150 hour work weeks anymore. Um, it's time to let go of what's not serving you. Uh, and there's more to life than money. You know, you can't take it with you. And if you spend all of your life just working and making money, you're not, uh, you're not going to feel completely fulfilled and you're going to miss out on a lot of things, especially with your wife, husband, or, and your children. Um, the fool, a new beginning. There is, you are standing at the door or the gateway of your next ch phase in life and you just open it up and walk through. And I think that's what you're doing right now. Um, but maybe hesitating for whatever reason, maybe there's something that you were wanting and it hasn't come yet, or maybe it has come and now you're like just putting together the plans to, in order to move forward. New love or deepening of relationship. New job, spend wisely, and novice. Nine of Pentacles, love, stable, loyal partner, money, promotion, financial, financial career. So this Nine of Pentacles could be one of these three people I was talking about and the Three of Wands. You could already know this person. Um, but they might not have known that they have the, um, the power or the, um, the connections that they have and they're going to come in and be like, Hey, by the way, um, yeah, I know we like were, uh, when we were introduced or whatever, we just became friends or we, um, you know, we used to date or whatnot. Um, but I never told you, I actually have. Mariah Carey's phone number. I'm personally acquainted with her, or I know Rush Limbaugh, or <laughs> I don't know <laughs> Cindy Lauper. Um, but I know them personally, and I want to introduce them to you. I think that you guys meeting would actually really. Um, be beneficial to you, to both of you and the world. Um, there's just something about you and what I know about you and what I know about this celebrity that you guys would be very creative. Like your creative juices would flow very well together and you guys probably would create something that the world would absolutely love. Um, Nine of cups in the reverse. So you do have a fake love offer coming in. Um, either it's flat out manipulation in order to try and, um, screw you over, um, or to get you to let this person come along with you into this new beginning. Um, I'm not saying they don't care about you, but I do believe that it's either a, an immature love because they don't know how to love or they're just in love with the idea of being in love or it's lust. And this person that they operate out of lust. They don't know how to love. So they're going to come in and they're going to, like I said, they care about you. They don't, they do respect you. They do um, admire you. But at the end of the day, it's going to be a sexual connection and then it's going to fizzle out and fade away if you choose it. Page of Swords. Immature relationship style projects and uh, study details. So yeah, there's some immature people in your life that are they just maybe younger than you. Uh, and you just have more life experience than them and you're about to go into a new level and they're just not ready to go. So they can't, they can't, they can't go with you. It's time to cut ties with certain people. Uh, Knight of Swords. Shifts in a relationship, finance, job, shift. So earlier when I was saying that um, there might be an ex or someone coming back in to like rekindle something. At, and, um, it's going to take just a few minor uh, adjustments. You guys are going to put those together. Um, you're going to you're going to notice why things fell apart the last time, and you're both going to come up with ways because you both want to restart. You you both want to give this another chance. Um, and there's going to be something shifting in your finances as well. Maybe a new job or a promotion, or starting a new business. I really am kind of getting the vibe of a new business in this um, reading here. Maybe old friends, new business, or I think maybe it's one old friend and one new friend um, who 
or are going to want to collaborate with you and take um, a project, a service, um, take something from paper to physical reality. The Ace of Pentacles, meet through the work, pract practical person, practical venture, and profits. So you've got money coming in from somewhere you're not expecting it, and it could be one of those people that are going to want to work with you. Maybe they come in with like, um, you know, a business um, proposal, and with it comes a, basically a bribe, but like a cash bonus. Hey, you join, go into work with us, and we here's there's already five grand on the table like we trust that much that you or 10 grand here's 10 grand to get it going um and you don't have to pay it back um as long as the business takes off and you don't go bankrupt within five years if you make it longer than five years you don't have to pay it back or something well you know what i mean like the proposal will and it'll look really good but if it's coming from this nine of cups person be careful Three of Pentacles, stay positive, work through your differences, good at your work, people notice. The Chariot, it's all going to happen so fast, so quickly. You may have been in a period of stagnation, but like, where you just feel like, when is it going to happen? I mean, I'm so ready, like, what the hell? Why, what else do I need to do? What else needs to happen in order for me to be able to walk through this gate, that we able to walk through this doorway? Um, and once you start seeing thing manifestations and prayers being answered, you better get ready. You better get ready because it's going to, when that waking nights, that fire like nights, you're going to be moving so fast. Your head's not, you're not going to be able to see straight. You're going to look like Linda Blair and the exorcist. Ooh. <laughs> Five of cups. So I think someone who um, hurt you in the past, or maybe a lot of people actually, um, they didn't have faith in you. They didn't think you were going to make it. Like you had a plan for your life a long time ago and you kept saying, this is going to happen for me. This is going to happen for me. I, I'm i going to make it. And because it took a long time or because maybe your interest or your um, lifestyles, uh, your lifestyle changes didn't like really we're not in alignment with um, the goals that you had set for yourself, but you still kept going. And um, now they are actually happening for you. Like you said they would. And these people that treated you horribly, lied on you, cheated on you, um, just really did you dirty. They're, they're now crying and wishing they had treated you better because now they want you in their life and you don't have time for them. Two of wands, building a rewarding relationship, beneficial guidance from others. So someone's got a choice between two jobs, two lovers, two contracts, whatever. But they've made their choice and um, they refuse to be a victim any longer. Resolving challenges with partner. The worst is over. Stability ahead. So um, even if it was a breakup, you and the, your partner both want to work it out and you both want to get back together. So you guys are resolving issues. You are healing issues, and there's possibly marriage coming very soon for somebody. And this person is the epitome, of, the masculine epitome of true love. This person, if they are the masculine, they absolutely 100% love you. They will cherish you. They will treat you like a queen. They will treat you like a queen and put you on a pedestal. This man will love you like no one has ever loved you in this life, beside God, uh, and the Queen of Pentacles. So if you're the feminine in this um, connection, you are probably well off. You're very intellectually smart and definitely very smart with finances and business. Um, the two of you guys will not only love each other and be a, have a great marriage together, you guys will do a you guys will build an empire. You guys are a power couple, definitely a power couple. You will be building an empire that will create a wealth so unlimited that you will be giving to anyone and everyone that yeah. six of pentacles and 10 of pentacles back to back. One of them, I can't make this up. You guys will have a wealth that will live on 
your abundance that you accrue together will live on long after you guys. Your children and grandchildren will be spending this money. The moon. There are secrets and illusions that are coming out. So there's something that's happened in the past that was hidden from you that is no longer going to be hidden from you. Uh, whoever was involved or some people that were involved, they're going to be telling you what they did and they're going to want to do things to resolve it and try and fix it. Uh, either if they've taken money from you or were involved in some kind of money scheme, they will be repaying you. Um, if they lied on you or just um, what, however they did you wrong and there, it was, it was kept secret from you. It is now coming to light. And that might be one of the things that helps you step into this next chapter. Just knowing that the people that you've been living your life in your inner or close net circle are just, they're snakes and they just, they're not for you. So you're ready to finally accept that and move on. We have the sun, the happiest card in the deck. Once you accept that and you heal the wounds of the past with um, a certain person, you will be, in a, your relationship will be very happy. It will grow. It will prosper. Um, once you guys speak about the, the, what caused you guys to go wrong in the past and why, you know, you guys split up and how you can not do that again. If you guys, cause you guys are both interested in a reconciliation. It's just, you guys don't want to basically start again, just to like to fuck it up again or fail again. Um, but I do see that with all the cards that came out here, if you guys just both communicate honestly, truthfully, and um, you guys both are willing to work on the things that are spoken about, it's going to be very easy for a reconciliation and to bring this, this connection back to where it was at one point. Um, there's also a period of prosperity coming with honors and recognition. So you could have been working on something for quite a while now that you just kept like working and working and working and then you kept asking yourself, why do I keep doing this? I'm not making the money I want to make. I'm, no one's listening to me. No one's recognizing what I'm trying to do. And I've just been doing this for years and no one cares. So why do I keep doing it? You're going to find out here really soon that a lot of people do listen to you. A lot of people do care and that what you're doing does matter. The Hermit in reverse. So there could be a Virgo that hates you um, or there you could be in Hermit mode and now you're coming out because your silent season's over. It is time for you to share your voice and your um, your creative passion with the world. It is You're not going to be hidden any longer. Your preparation season's over. You've learned the lessons you need to learn and now it's time to go to work. And I think that is, ooh, Ace of Swords. All right, so there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be bringing truth to you in this season, but there's still somebody who's going to be lying or trying to keep something from coming out. So maybe they won't actually, like, lie to you, but they're going to, like, try to speak in creative language um, to where something that they were a part of stays hidden. And so just be mindful of that. Because what is done in the dark comes to light anyways. So if this person has done something to you, if they don't tell you, somebody else is going to. Uh, temperance. Balance is being restored right now. That's that's probably why all these people are coming to tell you, like, the shit they've done to you in the past. Because either, A, you just, like, uh, you've leveled up somehow, and people know that you're on your way to being a major success. Or they somehow, certain people know something's about to happen for you. And they want to get back on your good side before it happens so that they can look like, oh, well, wow, I didn't know that was going to happen for you. Congratulations. No, that's not why I came back to say I was sorry. How would I know this was going to happen for you? I really love you. I want to be in your life. Like, so uh, just use discernment because there's certain people that do genuinely care about you and want to be in your life. And there's so, certain people that just want to ride your coattails. So you got to make sure that Whoever you let in your inner circle can be trusted because if you're surrounded by snakes, you're going to wind up getting bit. And if there's a anaconda in the round, the mix, you're pretty much walking um, a tightrope. And, and it's just a, a ticking bomb waiting to, to strike. Swords, pause for balanced thinking on situation. Have faith in your own ideas and wisdom. 
So yeah, this is someone made a decision in the past and they didn't have all the facts. And now that they've gotten those facts and they've gotten uh, confirmation and clarity that the situation was not what it seemed, they are, they actually were, I think in a depression and a mentally, uh, a mental prison over what the choice they made. And they're now coming out of that because they now know that whatever they ch chose over you or um, whatever they put over you was the wrong decision because whoever it was they listened to was lying and they now know that. So they're coming back to tell you there there's, there's truth and they're hoping that you're going to give them a chance to be back in your life because they really know how, who you are and how valuable you are to them. And they really are, they're really mad at themselves for messing up your guys's connection because it really it is important and they they should not have listened to the people they listen to oh okay divine mystery you along with the sun earth moon and stars are a part of one creation a divine mystery unfolding each moment be present and feel the power of now be in the moment and wit witness the wonder of it all. So everything that's ever been, that's ever lived or died or has been created is all tied into together. Like, so that's why we really need to be nice to each other and really need to help each other out because we all are connected. There is a spark from God Almighty inside of each and every one of us. And we are all, I mean, we're all tied interconnected through the ancestors, through DNA, through, through creation itself. So for one of us to like think we're better than another or to treat someone like poorly because they don't have as much money as them or they don't have the the same skin color, different sexual orientation, whatever it may be, it's just absolutely ridiculous because at the end of the day, there no one is better than anybody and we all have our faults and we're all trying to work this life out so we can get help. It's no, no one should ever think they're better than anyone and no one should ever treat anyone le like they're a piece of shit because they're not. No one is. Archangel Uriel, a great spiritual transformation is currently occurring both in your life and in our world. This is the union of heaven and earth, spirit and matter, heart and mind, and unite in harmon harmon harmonious balance. Change. Life is a journey. It would be very unfulfilling if each step was exactly the same as the last because life is also changing. It is forever fresh and new. Allow your life to unfold gracefully. Be grateful for what it was, is, and forever will be. So I know change is hard. At least it is for me. Um, but you just got to go with it. You know, things are always changing and you got to enjoy life in the moment because literally the moment is all you have. If the past is gone, the future is not here yet. So enjoy the people, the places, and the things that are in your life and try hard not to have any attachments to anything because you're going to lose people, you're going to lose places, and you're going to lose things through, continuously throughout your life. And the easier you can let go and let the flow of life just flow, you will find yourself to be happier more often than not. Um, because it is hard to let go of people. It is hard to let go of like things and possessions that you've worked for and earned. Um, but at the end of the day, it's God's will, not ours. And when God says something's got to go, if you don't let it go, or sometimes he'll take things away from us without giving us a choice. And if we get stuck or caught up in a moment that we can't get out of, we wind up wasting a lot of time because we either were depressed, we were angry, we were pissed off, we were frustrated, we were full of entitlement of like, I, that should not have been taken away from me and I'm not going to try again for any, whatever, until that comes back to me. It's a waste of time to have the attitude. Now, trust me, sometimes things do come back and sometimes they are worth the wait for when they do come back, but not, they don't always come back. So you got, you got to release attachment to any outcomes in your life on any level. It will help you be a happier person and it will also help you be kind to others. A kind kindness, a kind gesture rekindles your belief in the power of love. Remember to be kind to yourself. So somebody's got a lot of cool, really thing, good things coming. And um, 
But you also got a couple more tests to co- are coming too because there's definitely some people that are not so honest and not so not, and coming into you with offers that are not with good intentions. So, but for the most part, you're for one, you've leveled up spiritually, so your your discernment's stronger, your uh, spiritual eye is stronger. But and plus, this is your winning season, so God is bringing people into your life that or back into your life that do actually care about you and that do want to see you win. So you're going to be uh, the snakes are going to be drawn away with the, with the shaft and the good people will return and you will believe in love again. I love you guys. If you love me as much as I love you, please like share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.